have an idea. Someone to boost morale. Pete, no. I listened to you when you wanted to take the staff to see that R-rated hypnotist, and that sucked. He was pretty bad. Nutmeg. Uh, rodeo, rodeo, rodeo. Look, I think we can take the show to Miami for a week. What? Can we afford to do that? If we do it on the cheap, double up rooms. Think about it, Liz. Florida. I can rent a convertible. You can complain about the heat with elderly people. I can sell this to Jack. Cross-promotional, deal mechanics, revenue streams, jargon, synergy. That's the best presentation I've ever seen. Get started right away. <laughs> One little thing. Instead of Miami, make it Boston. But I, I bought a parrot shirt. <sighs> Woo! Okay, exciting news, guys. This week, TGS is going on the road. There's a rumor that it's Miami. Is it Miami? Close. It is a city with an NBA team. And even though Will Smith never wrote any raps about it, the poet Robert Lowell lived there. OK, we're going to Boston. No one's happy. Uh, this is amazing. No, 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 it's going to be fun. How? Their bars close at 2. You know, I went to college in Boston. Well, not in Boston, but nearby. No, not Tufts. Shut up. It's 14 degrees up there. How is that supposed to make us feel better? Harvard. You have been told to shut up. Come on, silver lining. It's a fun vacation on the show's dime. FYI, to pay for this vacation, we need to cut some corners, so we will be doubling up hotel rooms, and we are going by bus. <laughs> also, there is no SpectraVision or internet in the hotel, so plan ahead, gentlemen, porn-wise. Did Pete just say we're doubling up rooms? Did he? This is the worst. What if uh, you and I room together? Oh, no. Twofer and I already talked about it. You can't have talked about it! You just said you didn't even know about it! You think I like sharing a room with Twofer? Dude is still playing that Obama song. And yeah, I know you're standing there! Hey, fellas, we're getting Tracy's own room, so I assume you two will pair up? Why would you just assume we would room together? Why would he assume we wouldn't? I don't know, maybe because one of us still hasn't read the other screenplay? I read it. I just didn't like it. Hey, Sri. I thought you and I could be roommates. Go out, meet guys, share clothes like twinsies. What size are you? Usually designers just make clothes for me. But when I do buy stuff, I'm a child's medium. Well, I only wear designer labels. These are Jamie Foxx for Ass Farm. But I can't room with you. Sue and I already talked Why? about it. Why? You know Sue says stuff about you behind your back. What? She always says stuff to me about you. Wait, what? I was making my thing up. You bitch! What did you tell her, you von Druk? Liz Lemon, I can't go to Boston. Oh, Tracy, come on. You don't understand. I get in trouble on the road. Thank you, thank you. It's great to be here, Cleveland. You suck. I suck. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame sucks. Yeah. Hello. The road is a minefield, LL. All those angry drunks and new temptations. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. This Boston thing is Jack's idea. The stupid Irish piece of... Oh, boy. Boston is not going to go well. Okay, that's lunch. Dude, why do you keep fixing my spelling? We're back in at 3. No, 3.30. Enjoy the town, everyone. You're welcome. Now, who would like to join me on a morale-boosting tour of Boston's historic Freedom Trail? Ooh, I would int. Now what am I supposed to do? I got free time in a strange city. Why don't you come on the Freedom Trail with me? It's an educational walking tour. Perfect, like a cat birthday. How could I possibly get in trouble on a walking tour? Smash cut two. And I, John Hancock, with one stroke of my pen, set all Americans free. You lying white devil. The only people you set free were rich white dudes like yourself. I think my good friend and supervisor, Paul Revere, can address that. I'm out, Kenny. Hey, you know what? We're going to go. Hey, no! Most dudes that sign that Declaration of Independence own slaves. What about you, John Hancock? Well, technically, I just inherited my slaves. I knew it. For a dude that has the most hilarious last name I ever heard, you blow. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on Mars. 